Hello, and welcome to our session on modernizing your frontline workforce with Google Workspace. My name is Frank Weigel, and uh, welcome to the session. We'll have uh, Rhys uh, from Airbus join us a little bit later, but for now, let's dive right in. Uh, we'll talk today first about what digital transformation of frontline workers is and, and why it matters. Uh, then we'll hear from Rhys on how Airbus is using Google Workspace to put this theory into practice. And finally, we'll talk a little bit about how Workspace and AppSheet can help you to do exactly the same. So let's dive right in. Um, a recent VC firm study estimated that uh, about 80% of the global workforce are frontline workers and that largely their technology needs are unmet. To fill the technology void, well, these um, employees are often using unofficial or unmanaged apps, uh, such as WhatsApp, SMS, you know, to get processes done. And it really ends up being another form of shadow IT. Now, let's talk more about who these frontline workers may be in your organization and take a look at, uh, take a look at how they can benefit from more technology to help digitally transform this crucial aspect of your company. So frontline workers really are the backbone of a company. You know, they literally are the first people customers connect with, the people who build the products, fulfill an order, or answer a service call. And so good examples are nurses, retail associates, of course, call center teams, uh, support technicians, or front desk registration staff, to just name a few. And these deskless workers typically lack um, dedicated computers provided for their work. And so personal smartphones, for example, become often the easiest way for them to engage in digital transformation and partake in company processes. Now, modernizing and digitally transforming those frontline worker processes really is a win-win-win across the company. Why? Well, um, the frontline workers they are the end users, and so they benefit from a standardized platform to communicate and collaborate and engaging digitally on business processes. And they themselves, frontline employees, want this. And besides improving effectiveness, a common communication platform, of course, also creates a better sense of community and inclusivity. Now, the business leaders also, of course, benefit from modern tools. Here, for them transforming the frontline worker experience means that these digitally transformed processes allow them to plan more efficiently, more easily introduce business, new business processes, or adapt existing ones based on feedbacks or changing needs, and crucial in the um, agile world that we live in. And last but not least, by any means, IT professionals and leadership, they benefit as well. Uh, with a common platform for frontline workers, that provides integrated governance and integrates with the rest of the um, systems the company uses, they do not have to worry about uncontrolled shadow IT. Instead, they can make sure data access is secure, compliant, and well-governed, crucial in today's world. So to summarize, providing frontline workers modern tools built on a common communication and collaboration platform really makes your company more competitive. It enables streamlined communications, which results in more efficient work and better collaboration, of course. And digitally transformed processes allow employees to focus on more strategic and value-added work with less focus on tedious and error-prone paperwork or other ways of communication uh, that have a lot of overhead. And lastly, when well done, it empowers your mobile workforce to easily use different devices, whether phone, tablet, or computers. Everyone can get the flexibility to choose the device best suited for the task at hand. You know, it can, they can use the same tools regardless of which device or form factor they are on. And this improved competitiveness doesn't just end with more efficiency and collaboration though. Most importantly, Great employee experiences also lead very directly to great customer experiences. And that's something we all know has become really important to company success these days. Here you see a, a recent study from Forrester Research underlining exactly this point. 
Um, the importance of customer obsession is particularly important, of course, for frontline workers, as they are, as we said, literally the first line of contact for most of your customers. And so um, having them uh, be obsessed about uh, the customer is crucial employee experiences help. Given the challenges to train, onboard, and retain frontline workers, equipping them with the right technology helps support their growth and development and ultimately will help grow your business. So let's take a look at a, at a real life example of frontline workers directly benefiting from modern tools. In this case, very cool use case, building planes more efficiently. So very excited uh, to have Airbus join us to share more on how they are using Google Workspace and our no-code application builder app sheet to transform their frontline worker experiences. Um, Airbus, of course, is a manufacturing company designing, building, and selling civil and military airspace products worldwide. They have about uh, 200,000 users working at sites all over the world. They moved uh, to Google Workspace in 2019. And joining us now um, from Toulouse is Reese Phillips, who is the Google Workspace change and adoption leader at Airbus Digital Workspace. So Reese, over to you to tell us more. Thanks very much, Frank. Uh, really great to be speaking to you here uh, from Toulouse at Cloud Next today. Uh, and indeed, uh, as you as you hinted at, Airbus took a decision uh, over four years ago now to move to the cloud, and in particular uh, to move to Google Workspace for our employee collaboration and productivity tool set. Uh, and for Airbus, I would kind of describe this as a, as a step into the future uh, with a really high potential to transform our processes and our ways of working. Now, we wanted to establish the next stage in our culture of collaboration uh, to empower our colleagues to focus their time and energy on things that really matter to them, uh, to allow them to work from any location. And of course, that was super important during the, the, the last couple of years with the COVID pandemic. Uh, but also, we wanted to use this as an opportunity to help us become a real data-driven company with transparent access to all the knowledge available to everyone who needs it when they need it. Uh, now, many of us at Airbus, like myself, are, are desk-based. We're, we're working in an office most of the time. Others are always on the go, uh, needing to work remotely. But of course, Airbus makes planes, helicopters, satellites, and, and they can't be built without our frontline workers, our operators uh, on the shop floor. And so today, we'd like to explore that a little bit. Uh, so joining me now uh, from our Broughton plant up in North Wales, where we make all of our wings, uh, is Paul Kilmister, Head of UK Supply Chain Logistics here at Airbus. Uh, Paul, thanks very much for joining me. Uh, nice to see you, Reese. Thanks for having me. Now, now, Paul, you're part of the plant leadership team in, in Broughton. You're responsible for the flow of all the parts into the factory and also for the delivery of the wings to our final assembly lines. Uh, quite an important part of the aircraft manufacturing process. Uh, most planes don't get very far <laughs> without the wings, right? Uh, but I guess most people watching haven't had the chance to see uh, what the shop floor looks like at an aircraft manufacturing plant. So could you give us a, a, like an overview for those that haven't experienced a shop floor environment within aircraft manufacturing? Yeah, sure I can. So the, the, the bulk of Broughton is made up by delivering wings for our two big programs, what we call single aisle, which is our 320 and 321 wings uh, and our long range programs. So that's our A330 and A350. You can imagine that because the programs uh, vary in age, and the level of automation in those programs varies. Uh, the A350 facility we have uh, built only a few years ago is, is a far more automated setup than the traditional jig setup that we have in, uh, in, in our single aisle product. The way that we build a wing is we bring all of the components together. Um, and for single aisle, we actually build the wing in a vertical orientation. This is where we bring our core structure of the wing together. Don't forget, this is a real core component. Not only does it make the aircraft fly, but it holds all the fuel as well for the, uh, for the aircraft. Once we take that wing out of jig, we then perform what we call the equipping, which is to add all of the fuel systems, the hydraulic systems, and the flight control surfaces, and then we deliver it to our customer. Uh, and what has the acceptance of Google Workspace been like at the plant? Uh, to be very open with you, I have been um, quite pleasantly surprised by the adoption rate in Broughton. Um, like with all change, um, uh, the, there was a degree of hesitancy at first, but I think people have really understood the, the benefits of Google and the step change that it's created for us in terms of collaboration. The one thing I think that has been a step change for us is, is, the, is the communication um, tools that have come with, uh, uh, come with the Google, uh, Google platform. For example, Google Chat now um, 
super impressive the uh, the impact that that's made on the shop floor and how quickly we're able to be able to get around uh, uh, particular topics and, and abnormalities in the plant. Could you describe a, a benefit that you've already seen on the shop floor as a result of, of Google Workspace deployment? And, and do you see some opportunities for further automation uh, with tools such as AppSheet in the future? Yeah, sure. The, 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 the most obvious one that jumps out for me is, uh, is what we call abnormality management. Maybe sounds a bit more dramatic than what it is, but uh, when we have an abnormality in the plant, that could be a missing part or a, a quality escape from a supplier. Because we're working in a tact environment, um, the importance of gathering the right team around the situation uh, in a timely manner is critical to the success of, uh, of, uh, of continuing to manufacture. When we start using collaboration tools like uh, Google Chat, particularly the chat groups, the capability to assign actions, immediately create meets to be able to bring the right MFT around to be able to solve the problem, this is really, really beneficial for us. I think also when we uh, look at some of the other big advantages, we've started to use Data Studio in a big way. The capability to be able to visualize where we are in terms of performance, to be able to see that live, uh, really gives the leadership team the opportunity to be able to focus in and, um, and make sure we're tackling the right topics. I would say thirdly, um, one of the uh, the evolving uh, and, and up and coming areas we have is on, uh, on apps, app Script and app Sheet. We see a lot of advantages in, uh, in these applications, particularly with regards to process confirmation. So you can imagine we're uh, confirming the way we build our wing uh, inside of our ERP, inside of SAP. Um, but there are many other process confirmations that we put in place to make sure that our target conditions are met, that the environment that, uh, the, that our teams work in uh, stay safe uh, and stay clean. Uh, and we're starting to look at a number of uh, app script with a uh, Google form and data studio outputs to be able to make sure that we're completing our, our, our target condition process confirmation uh, in, in a timely and a correct manner with real good action follow-up. Paul, uh, thanks very much for joining me today. Thanks, Reese. Take care. Now, Paul talked there about where he could see AppSheet helping in the future at Broughton. But at our plant in Hamburg, where our customer definition center is responsible for working with airlines to define their needs, AppSheet is already being used in the shop floor environment. Uh, here you can see the team's logistics app. Uh, it helps them to get an overview of all their deliveries, their open inspections, and the inventory of all the parts they deal with. And here you can see the operator scanning a QR code on a part in order to find it in the database. Uh, they can then scan a QR code on the wall of the, the location they're at in order to make sure that that part is booked to the correct location. So it minimizes the chance of, of typos or the wrong location being selected from a drop down box. Uh, they're then able to access detailed information on all of the shipments that are expected uh, via an information set that's stored in a shared drive, uh, of course, due to, to the strong integration of AppSheet with Google Drive. Um, and that delivered material can then be rebooked uh, via another QR code scan. And, and because the app works out of the box on a mobile device, uh, it was actually uh, really easy to build in capability to call the receiver and to email the requester without having to leave the application. Uh, so this kind of uh, integration uh, where everything is in one place, they don't have to then look for the phone number in, a, in, a, in Google Contacts, for example. Uh, this just makes day-to-day -day tasks a lot easier for those guys on the shop floor. Uh, and for me, what's really great about this is that this application was developed by just one person uh, over a couple of days, a task that previously would have taken several months to achieve by several developers. So a uh, really, really uh, strong benefit there. So yeah, uh, in conclusion, Frank, I'd say Google Workspace and AppSheet really helping to make a difference here at Airbus, not only in the office, but huge opportunities for our frontline workers too. Uh, and Frank, with that, it's back to you. Thanks so much, Reese. That was really awesome to see AppSheet in action and helping you to build airplanes. And, and those videos showing a wing being built, I mean, come on, that was just uh, really awesome to see. Thank you so much for sharing that. Now, building atop some of the points that Airbus already brought up, let's look at why Workspace is such a strong help in this area. So only Google Workspace brings together the communication and collaboration apps that are loved by literally billions of people. Of course, because billions of people use it, employees will have used some of these products already and be familiar with them right out of the gate. 
Workspace provides the right tool for everyone to accomplish their goals. And whether it is for frontline workers, as we discussed today, or for desktop workers or information workers, or even consumers. You know, video meetings in Workspace really help foster a more human connection. So everyone feels included and there's equity across experiences. You know, um, through spaces, you can have open and transparent communication so everyone in a group can contribute and access info for a specific topic. And of course, you can digitize and automate processes by making your own app and app sheet um, that integrated directly into Workspace. And just like you saw at Airbus, how it can help transform the experience uh, across the company. Now, let's dive a little bit deeper into AppSheet, our no-code app building solution uh, that you saw demoed. So with AppSheet, you can very easily transform these experiences by creating a custom app that digitally transform that specific experience. Now, what it fundamentally changes it, it's using a no-code approach. And thanks to that no-code approach, building apps now is fast, and creators don't need to be programmers anymore, very much unlike the traditional tools. And so anyone with a good understanding of a business process can now easily create an app. And it doesn't matter whether the data is in a spreadsheet or a database, you can access it and build an app atop of it. And so also very excited to share, we will be extending the app types that we have to easily create no-code chat apps. So everyone can interact with a, a, one of these custom apps that you built directly inside of chat uh, where they already are. That's where they're spending their time to communicate today. And similarly, we already have um, uh, the ability to take an app sheet app and embed it directly into a Gmail email. So you can interactively work with the app that's inside of an email, making it super easy to engage um, uh, folks uh, that are already working on something in the surface in the email tool where they already are spending their time. And so one more aspect, we talked about the need to integrate. Um, with AppSheet, you have a set of connectors that make it easy to connect with other systems. And exciting to hear that we just launched the ability to uh, directly invoke AppScript from within AppSheet apps. And so that allows for even deeper integration and customization of the experience into Workspace beyond what I just talked about and what we had all along. So great functionality to check out. And crucially for frontline workers, we talked about the importance of form factor. All AppSheet apps provide a unified experience across desktop and mobile experience. So they work seamlessly across devices and form factors and makes it really great fit, not just for frontline worker, but anybody who is information workers with a desk or laptop as well. So uh, to close, the quick reminder why it is worthwhile investing into digitally transforming your front-end workers. You know, in a recent study uh, from Harvard Business Review, Gallup Research, and Exonify, they found that 91% of organizations using modern front-end worker tools have more productive employees. 70% of them generate more revenue. 81% of them are more competitive. And 60% having more loyal employees. So wouldn't you want your company to be one of those? You can be. So don't leave your frontline workforce behind. Instead, empower them with modern tools like Workspace and um, Google AppSheet that meet them where they are.